We perform bag in the lens procedure using a femtosecond laser at the University Eye Clinic in Bochum, Germany. The patient is an 81-year-old female on aspirin with a grade 4 nuclear cataract. A Morcher 89A lens is planned. First, we dock the liquid optics interface of the Catalyst Precision Laser System. The indicators on the screen guide us through the process. Integral guidance starts automatically with a full volume 3D OCT and the anatomical structures are identified. For this patient, we have planned a 5mm anterior capsulotomy centered on the dilated pupil and a 350 micron grids lens softening. The safety zones in red and treatment pattern in green are confirmed on both an axial and sagittal cross section. The femtosecond laser creates the capsulotomy and lens softening. The patient is undocked and rotated to the operating microscope. After creation of the paracentesis, the capsulotomy is free-floating and the lens is mobile with minimal hydrodissection. The grade 4 cataract is aspirated with no ultrasound energy. Notice the EPZ or effective FACO time remains at 0 seconds. The cortex is easily removed with bimanual irrigation and aspiration. After filling the bag with OVD, a controlled opening is created in the posterior capsule with a cystotome. Then, OVD is injected into burger space to raise the posterior capsule away from the anterior hyoid face. OVD is also injected into the anterior chamber to reform it. With only 10 millimeters mercury rise in intraocular pressure, the same eye is redocked and the patient is rotated under the laser to begin another treatment with the catalyst this time a 4.8 millimeter posterior capsulotomy. Integral guidance rescans the eye and suggests that modifications are required due to the detection of abnormal ocular surfaces. The high resolution axial and sagittal OCT images will show the less than five micron thick posterior capsule in a convex shape the anterior hyoid in a concave shape, and the space between them, which was filled with OVD. The convex surface in the anterior image is customized and interpreted as the anterior capsule. The concave surface in the posterior image is customized and interpreted as the posterior capsule, and the space in between them is interpreted as the lens. The automatic detection of the pupil is confirmed to ensure centration and concentricity of the two capsulotomies. After final confirmation, the posterior capsule is created.
The patient is undocked and rotated to the operating microscope where the residual gas bubbles from the posterior capsulotomy are clearly visible just inside the anterior capsulotomy. The posterior capsulotomy is verified to be complete and is carefully removed using micro forceps. The Tassignon Bag in the Lens IOL Type 89A, which is a foldable hydrophilic lens, is loaded into a 2.8 mm cartridge and injected into the anterior chamber. Posterior haptics are placed behind the posterior capsule and the anterior haptics in front of the anterior capsule, keeping the anterior and posterior capsules in the IOL's flange. The greatest published advantage of the bag in the lens technique is the absence of posterior capsule opacification in adults. However, the posterior capsulotomy has been criticized as too difficult to manually perform on a routine basis. It is necessary to be centered with the anterior capsulotomy and at the same size for good results. The main advantage of the image guided femtosecond laser assisted technique for performing the bag in the lens intraocular lens implantation is the safety and reproducibility of creating perfect interior and posterior capsulotomies with the proper size, centration, and symmetry. We have successfully used this technique in 31 cases and no complications during or after surgery have occurred. This laser-assisted surgical technique using the catalyst system has a great potential to further improve post-operative outcomes and helps us to attain our ultimate goal and complete patient satisfaction.